When it comes to kingdom advancement, you may also be asking the question, what should we do then? Well, we're going to get into it today. So we are on to part two in talking about kingdom advancement. And then this lesson, we will be digging into the question that many people of John the Baptist time had, and that is, what do we do then? What are we to do to advance the kingdom of God? What does it look like when the kingdom and the power of God rests, rules, and abides with his people? What actions do we take in the natural to show evidence that the kingdom of God is working within the people of God? Well, we're going to look and see what John had to say about the what do we do question. And we will see how this can also relate to us, the servants of God in the kingdom of God. Our scripture lesson comes from Luke 3, 7 through 14. And it says, John said to the crowds coming out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the coming wrath, produce fruit in keeping with repentance and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The ax is already at the root of the trees and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized. Teacher, they asked, what should we do? Don't collect any more than you are required to, he told them. Then some soldiers asked him, what should we do then? He replied, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. So we see John addressing the crowd that has come to be baptized as well as addressing the Pharisees. And he admonishes them to bear fruit in repentance and to not use their heritage as a means to receive redemption. The whole point of what John wanted to get across to this group of people is that they needed to bear fruit because God would be dealing with the hearts, the minds of the people as it relates to the fruit that they bear in their lives. And those who did not have a good tree and did not bear good fruit would be cut down and thrown into the fire. So he was dealing with the heart, the mind, and the soul of the people to make sure that they knew that they had to bear fruit in repentance and asking for forgiveness and not using their bloodline as a means to absolve them from true redemption. So people ask, what should we do to bear good fruit? So let's discuss point number one. In kingdom advancement, there is always an element of sharing. John was addressing the crowd, the larger group. And it says in verse 11, it says, if someone is in need who does not have a tunic, we are to give to them. If we have another tunic and likewise, if we have food, we are to give to those who do not have food. So if you have food, you are to share with your neighbor who does not. This is talking about giving to those in need. Sharing with those in need is the essence of the kingdom of God. And so let's get into point number two. Point number two, only require what is authorized and necessary. So in verse 12, John is addressing the tax collectors or the business sector people. And he says to them, because they also ask, what should they do to bear fruit? And what does it look like for them and their sphere of society? And John tells them, don't collect any more than you are required to. This means only do what is necessary. Do not require more than what is allotted or expected and do things and don't do things out of selfish ambition or self gain. 
And I even personally um, see this in a different light and I take it a little step further. Don't do more than God is requiring me to do. Many times I have seen the body of Christ so burnt out, frustrated, exhausted, and barely hanging on because they are doing ministry in their own strength. And I have also fallen victim to it too. You say yes to everyone's ask. You say yes to everything that is asked of you. And then you end up burnt out because you are doing man's requirements, keeping up with man's calendar and the schedule and getting way too busy doing the good thing instead of doing the better thing. And that is sitting at the Lord's feet and receiving in his word. And so Jesus told, have that conversation with Mary and Martha when they were fussing about um, uh, Mary's not helping me. And Martha was so busy doing everything. And he said, you're doing the good thing, but Ma- Mary is doing the better thing. So we need to be doing the better thing by sitting at the Lord's feet and receiving from him. And the Bible also tells us in first Samuel 15, 22, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of ram. So it is better to obey what God is requiring of us than to sacrifice and do a ton of stuff that only leads to worn out, burnt out, tired. So that's kind of how I take that too. I take it a little step further in saying, don't do everything that everybody is asking of you and you please man and you please people, but you have not pleased God by sitting at his feet and listening to him. So we are not to be doing more than what God has required of us because to obey God is better than sacrifice. So let's get into point number three. Don't extort or lie. Be content with what you have. This is what we see when it comes to kingdom advancement. And this was in verse 14, where the soldiers were asking, what should they do? And John said to them, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be content with your pay. So here we see John telling people of authority in the places that they have authority to be content with what they have and do not extort or make threats to people or harm people and make false accusations or do things by manipulation to get people to do what they want. Don't use your position to get people to do things. And this goes back to point number two, only do what is authorized and required and do not have false scales and false weights to accomplish what you want. Do not lie to get what you want. Do not manipulate to get what you want. So this was to those people in the uh, sphere of government. He was talking to the soldiers. In this lesson, we see John speaking to the three groups, the crowd, the tax collectors and the soldiers, kind of representing the three spheres of life. You have your everyday people, you're the crowd, you have the tax collectors like your business people, and you have the soldiers, which are considered more like governmental people, governmental positions. And so he shares with them how they are to bear fruit, advance the kingdom of God in their spheres of life. And that is something that we can take away, that as everyday people, we should be sharing and caring for one another when we have to give, when we see our neighbor or people that we know who are in need, um, we are to share with them. If we have excess, then we can give to them out of our excess so that their lives might be blessed. And as it relates to the people of business, people of business are to do only what is required of them. Don't do more that is only promote self and bring self gain to yourself. You um, harm people by asking more of them so that you yourself can have more. John dealt with that area of their life of greed so that they could be kind too. So it's still an element of kindness. The golden rule is to uh, care and share with your brother. That is the golden rule. And then for the governmental people is to not use manipulation, not use your position to hurt, harm the people in God's kingdom, but to be kind and again, only do what is required. So these are very simple, simple uh, steps in advancing the kingdom, but they're very important because it brings an element of humbleness, humility, and caring for one another. And that is what we should be doing to advance the kingdom of God. Brother and sister in Christ, I pray that you are blessed today, and I pray that your heart 
would remember all these little things in advancing the kingdom because it's truly simple. Loving, caring, and sharing for one another is truly kingdom advancement. Be blessed.